How's everything going for you out there? Um, how much are you able to do this spring, and uh, is it coming back to you quickly? Yeah, uh, football is like riding a bike. Um, I get to do what I can in the uh, indiv like your individuals um, during breaks. I'll make sure to get extra stuff with JT and stuff, um, but just doing as much as I can. And just, I mean, how difficult was it for you last year? I mean, obviously you missed pretty much the whole year. I mean, yeah. What was going through that like for you? It was hard. It's always hard when uh, you can't play the sport you love. Um, but it was good to be able to watch my brothers out there play. Um, I was just a coach on the field, basically. I did everything I, ca I could to help. And it's, it's sad, but everything happens for a reason. Hopefully, this year can be my year. It was still the same, like, nagging, like, foot thing, right? Yeah. So do you, what, what exactly is that? Like, is that just, like, inflammation that you're... Or is no, that... I had to get surgery for my foot. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a timeline on when you'll be a full go? Um, I'm currently just waiting on um, shoes from Adidas. Um, I had to get a special pair because it's just my feet. My feet just weren't doing well with any regular shoe. So I'm really just waiting on shoes and then I'll be full go. So excitement knowing that in, I guess, what, six months now, you're going to be back out on the football field uh, doing what you do. I'm excited. Um, I've been waiting for this for a while. Um, by the time I get back, it'll be almost a year since I played football. So I'm nervous but excited. And I mean, it seems like the, the, defense on, the defensive line last year just didn't miss a beat. Like, Riven Bain established himself, and now there's yeah. like, a bunch of guys on the line, very talented group. Just, I mean, what's the competition like with, in that room? Everybody's trying to compete. At the end of the day, we're all brothers, but we're all fighting for the same thing. So we're going to compete, but we're also going to love each other up. And you're still planning on playing on the edge this year, or are you be mixing up edge and inside? I'll mix it up. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Akeem, I saw, and they might have asked you this, uh, that you wear some kind of like sneakers or something. I don't know what you're different. Yes, during practice, I just wear re regular running shoes uh -huh. um, because of my cleat situation. They haven't come in yet. But that's why I'm only able to do indie, and I'm really limited because I can't really go up against a live person with shoes on. I'll slip, and it could possibly be hurt. I could possibly hurt myself or somebody else. That whole injury last year, I guess, for, that was all your uh, one of your feet, right? Yeah. You had told us? Yeah. And it kind of just lingered, or? I ended up getting getting it fixed, getting surg 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 surgically repaired, and um, but now off season, like spring during the, during the season, last season. Yeah. And then how? How? So now you're just waiting in cleats. I'm just. Yeah. Okay. How much can you do in practice now? Really, just individual stuff, hitting the bags, moving around a little bit, um, doing stuff with JT, but nothing, nothing live, nothing against somebody else. Do you expect to be an end tackle or both? I'm, I'm going to play all over the line, um, really, I'm a, I'm a defensive lineman. When people ask me what I play, I just say defensive line because I play inside and out. Are you the same weight since you were in 22 or 23? Or? Same weight, um, but I changed my body comp, lower fat percentage, higher muscle. So, yeah, same weight, just different. What impressed you most about what Ruben did last year as a true freshman? He was a dog. He showed everybody what he could do, what he's capable of, and um, I was right there with him uh, the, whole st the whole way. And I would just encourage him every game. I made sure I gave him more confidence, just try to talk to him, tell him that he's a great player, tell him, remember who you are, remember what you're capable of, know what you're capable of. And uh, I love watching him play. He's, he, he made me like, watching him just, just gave me a sense of excitement and it just made me feel just proud, happy for him, happy for the D-line, just, I love watching Ruben play. It's great. And, and now you're going to get to be a tandem with him. Yeah, now me and Ruben are going to cause destruction together. So. You're similar players. you feel like you guys can play together at the same time? Yeah, of course, of course. I'll play inside, he'll play outside. If he wants to switch it up, I don't know how much Ruben wants to play inside, but um, when we're both on the line, it'll be, it'll be hard for people to block us. Was it, how tough was it last season, sitting out all those games? It was really hard. Um, I love football. I love to play football. That's what I've been doing since I was eight years old. So sitting out, uh, it hurts. It hurts a lot, but um, everything happens for a reason. And hopefully this year, I can make a difference. Talk about some of the, the new additions uh, on the D-line, guys like Alston and, and Marley Cook and C.J. Clark. And do you think the D-line can be even better this year than it was last year? Yeah, of, uh, of course. Um, we got new guys, both, all three of them. Everybody who's come in has been working, showing who, who they are, what they're capable of. I'm excited to play with them. And I'm just, I'm ready to compete with them and against them. Yeah, I keep losing your ankle. 
foot or your foot? It was my foot, the bottom of my foot. What was, what was the... It was, um, I tore a ligament in the bottom of my foot. Okay, and you got it surgically repaired. And yeah. how are the cleats different? You know what I mean? I, I, I don't know. I've asked so many questions. Nobody knows. <laughs> yeah. Is it your left or right? Both. Boy. Yeah. So you had them both repaired? Yeah. Anything else with you? When do you get your new shoes? I have no idea. They said uh, within 60 days, and this was last month, so hopefully, hopefully within the next month. Yeah, it takes time. Riley, uh, you feeling more comfortable this time this year than you did when you came in as a true freshman? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, this is the second go around for me now, so it's really just about getting better all around in my game. So just working on every area in terms of blocking, pass catching, and knowing the whole offense. And just uh, talking with, with Coach Dawson, with Coach Woody, I mean, Obviously, tight ends didn't get super, super involved yeah. in the passing game last year. How much do you guys expect that to change this year? Um, I mean, early on, I mean, as y'all can see, like during seven on seven, one on ones, like um, it's just that building trust with the, uh, all our QBs because we know all our QBs, um, they can throw the ball, every single one of them. doesn't matter which one is back there. So for us, it's just about, you know, getting open, um, giving ourselves the opportunity to get that ball. And I feel like this year we're, we're expecting to get a lot of touches in this tight end room. And it seems, like, it seems like there's a lot of talent in that room like yeah. between you and the Elijahs and Cam. And it just seems like every day we're at practice, someone's making another one-handed yeah. catch. So just, how does that drive you guys? Um, honestly, uh, it drives us as, like, we're tight. Like I say, our tight end room is, uh, we're a really tight group. We hang out a lot outside the facility, outside of practice, outside of meetings. Uh, we'll go out to eat together, go to each other's houses, we'll hang out. So it's, it's really us building the connection and we're pushing each other every day. We're holding uh, all the rest of us accountable, really, every and, day in practice. And just what, yeah. hanging out outside, it's, uh, I mean, you got you and Elijah, Lofton are younger guys. Elijah mm -hmm. was a little bit older, Cam's a little bit older. Yeah. What's that dynamic like? So you have Elijah Lofton, who's 18, I guess, and Cam's yeah. like 26 and stuff. What's that like? Uh, well, I like to think about it as uh, Cam's our grandpa, uh, <laughs> Elijah's the dad, uh, I'm the middle child, and we got Lil E, who's the youngest. So. <laughs> It's, it's cool to think about it that way. Like I said, building that, uh, all building that relationship. We took uh, Elijah Lofton in um, and we're showing him the ropes. I mean, we all learn from Cam and Elijah because, you know, they're the oldest ones in, the, in our room. So it's fun. Talk about those battles and, you know, the one-on-ones. I saw you and Zipuan, you know, sharing sure yeah. you know, How awesome is that, you know, seeing those, you know, battles, you know, early on in camp? So far? It's fun. I mean, uh, we live for it. We live for the competition. Like I said, this year, like, we're hoping to get we're, we're not hoping, we're expecting to get um, a lot of touches this year. So um, just building that connection with our QBs, like uh, like you said, I uh, catch today, a lot of us, like we talk, like we're going to talk, you know, we make a good play, like we're going to talk to each other and that just motivates uh, us. What's changed, uh, Riley? Um, you know, you're talking about like, we're going to get a lot of touches this year. Yeah. What's different? Like what's changed from last year? Uh, what's different is, you know, just like the trust factor. Um, we us as a tight end room like we work on our stuff uh every day we work on our uh route running we work on our uh catching ability whether that's thrown with the qbs uh before after practice when we are in our uh workouts uh before spring ball you know throwing every day after our uh our workouts so just building that connection like and we know uh us as a tight end room we have a we have a wide range of ability like we all have different skill sets and we're all going to contribute our skill sets to the team to you know ultimately make us great. Work, working with a couple new quarterbacks this year, what stands out most about Cam Ward and Reese Poffenbarger? Uh, what stands out most is, uh, I say, I mean, honestly, like, they're dudes. Like, they can throw the ball. They, they're um, they well-versed in um, everything, to be honest with you. Uh, they can throw deep. They can throw short. They can throw medium. They, they understand the, uh, the defenses. They can read. So they're going to throw to the open guy regardless. They're going to find us. And not just them two. Um, JB, you know, JB's got that arm. He's throwing that. We got Emery, who's coming back, you know, from that uh, significant uh, arm injury. And he's feeling his way back. So it's really exciting. It's a, it's a, we got a really good, all of, honestly, QB room. So. How how's uh, Elijah? You know, he's a new guy, Elijah Lofton. What what is he doing well? What does he do well? Yeah. Talk about him a little bit. Um, to be honest, he's doing everything well. Um, in terms of, I mean, you've seen him. He's uh, he's out there playing not only just tight end. He's playing running back. He's playing slot. 
Uh, they're using him kind of all around the field because he's an all-around guy. He can make those plays. We like to think of him as a, a like a like a little Debo Samuel. You know, he's uh, he's able to do everything, and he's like you see, he's making one-handed catches. He's he knows how to make the plays. So for him now, it's just um, being able to learn the offense. You know, coming from that transition from straight out of high school to college now, so he's got to learn a fast-paced offense, and he's picking it up well. What can you learn from Cam McCormick? Oh, everything. I mean, he's. Uh, I tell you, one thing that I really uh, learned from him was um, the ability to read coverages, um, the ability to um, tell what a defender is going to do by his uh, leverage on the field, and he really taught me that a lot, which is helpful. So you hoping to be a nine-year guy now? Are you hoping to stick around <laughs> for a while? <laughs> um, you know, we'll see. Like, like I said, this is the second go-around, and uh, we're expecting to get a lot of touches this year. So, um, you know, we'll see where that goes. From your perspective. How much of a jump has Elijah Royo made from last uh, year to this year? I mean, a big jump. Uh, you can tell it, uh, he was a little banged up um, last year, of course. Um, it sucks, you know, going through injuries, but you know how it is. And, you know, uh, Power 5 football, you're going to go through some injuries, some obstacles, but um, phew, he's like that. I mean, he's he's doing everything you want a tight end to do. He's He knows, he knows what he's doing. He does it well. He's making plays. Yeah. So last, last year, question. a source of frustration, or did you guys in your room have a feeling that we have to earn the trust of, of Coach Dawson, we have to earn those looks on game day? I mean, um, yeah, I would say we were all a little frustrated, but I mean, it comes with it. You can't do nothing about it. Control the controllables. So, I mean, this year, like we said, we're going to prove a point. We're going um, to prove to everyone on our team that we're, we're reliable. We can make those plays. Um, and we can do everything that uh, you'd want a tight end to do on the field. How's your nine going so far? It's good, man. I'm enjoying it, you know, with the guys, the offense, the team. Uh, just enjoying the moment, you know, being, being where my feet are and, and just enjoying every day. So we can remember this. What's your birthday? Today. It's April 2nd. Oh. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, it's today. Oh, wow. Birthday's today. You are how old today? <laughs> we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> 26. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. So, I guess, what was the, the decision process like for you thinking about whether to, decide, whether to come back for a ninth year? Just the guys around here, really. Um, you know, the tight end room, the, the team, the coaches, it was really, it all played a factor. And, like, just, I just want to leave here on my terms rather than, like, not on my terms. And, and the coaches, the players, the guys around, it, it made it a really an easy decision for me to, to want to do that. Um, and that's why I decided to come back. Young guy in that tighter room, Elijah Lockins, yeah. kind of making some noise. What are yeah. your impressions from him? Right he's doing a really good job, and he's elevating everybody in this room, and he needs to keep holding himself to a high standard because he's going to be a, play a big role in this offense for us this year. And I guess what do, what do you want to improve the most on going, you know, in the spring and, and going into the fall? Uh, I just want to become a better leader. I mean, you know, scratch that. I don't even want that. What I want to improve on is building up the guys around me and having these guys be excited for each other's success because there's this room is going to be there's going to be a lot of success in this room and I don't want guys to be, get to that selfish aspect. Um, I want us to all celebrate each other's success and, and build each other up when we get out there and we, we each make a play and we can all be happy for each other. And Riley was saying that you guys hang out a lot, you know, yeah. you know off the field, just, you know, on a day to day kind of basis. What are, what are those, you know, what are that, what's that like for you guys? Yeah. Uh, we, we, want, we want to be a connected room, um, so we try outside of here. Like obviously, we're brothers here, but when we leave here, we want to get together, go eat, hang out, kind of do those things outside of football because this life is more about more than football. Um, so just being able to build those relationships, that those lifelong relationships with each other, is is kind of what we try to do. So, what kind of role are you trying to carve for yourself on this team? I, I'm really I'm willing to do whatever I, 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 they they want me to do, whether that's run block. Pass catch, uh, whatever that is, be a leader. You know, whatever my role is, I'm gonna, you know, approach my role 100% and and uh, and give it my all. And being a ninth year guy, that's not a, a common pad. As far as I know, you're the you'll be the first ninth year college player. Yeah. What's that? I guess like, is it weird knowing that like this is a brand new thing, a brand new situation for kind of the whole country? Um, I don't, I wouldn't really say it's weird. Um, you know, I. Obviously, that I had some unfortunate circumstances that happened, um, and I've been blessed to be able to play this long. Um, so, I mean, it, it's definitely cool. I mean, I'm the first person to play nine years. Like that's that's something that holds value to it. You know what I'm saying? So, and I don't know 
if another person will ever, you know, get to that point. But uh, no, it, it's cool to, to, I guess, own that title. But yeah. Ideally, no one will because that means they have to get hurt and stuff. And go hurt, and go. COVID, yeah. all that type of stuff. So, yeah. How does uh, Elijah Arroyo been looking to you? It seems like this is the healthiest he's been in a long time. I imagine he probably leans on you given what you've gone through in your career. Yeah, he's doing uh, he's doing really good. Um, obviously, he's, like you said, he's, he's back healthy, um, looking really good, um, explosive and fast, and you know his ability is out the roof. So he's he's been showing a lot of us teammates and you know, a lot of good positive things. So we look forward to seeing what he can do this year. What about the progress of uh, Riley Williams? Who we just talked to uh, seeing him heading into his second year. Yeah, Riley, you know, last year Riley came and he was young. Same with Elijah. The, those guys were Elijah Lofton. They were they were both young. So the growth Riley's made from year one to year two has been, you know, it's been huge. Um, and, I, and I've been happy to see where his growth has gone because obviously that's like a little brother to me. So trying to get him to, you know, look at it a di at a, in a different lens, um, it's, it's helped him out a lot. And what about Jackson Carver? Who's, yeah. You know, he's still, you know, learning the position, I'm sure. Like, you know, he was new to the new to the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he was new to football last year. Um, he's doing a lot better this year. Um, I think with anybody playing football for the first time, there's things that you got to work on, and and that goes for everybody as well. But he's obviously came came in playing football later, so it's taken him. He's behind the eight ball, so we're trying to you know throw as much as it as we can as him to help him get better and help him be that player that he wants to be. So. Any more specifics on Elijah Lofton? You know what he. What is he doing well? I know he's a freshman, but he's doing everything well. He he just needs to keep diving down with his head down and go to work every day like he's been doing, um, and the results will come. Yeah, you know, but a couple of years ago you faced Cam Ward. Yeah. Um, the last, that game it looked like it was crazy. What do you remember about that game? What were your impressions of Cam then? And yeah, Cam's a Cam's a good player. Um, as long as all the other quarterbacks in that room, they're they're really good players, and you know they're all here competing for for that job. Um, but playing against Cam a couple years ago when I was at my previous school, um, he's an explosive player. You know, he makes plays, he extends plays, and and you got to be ready for everything with him. So I'm glad he's on our side now. So Elijah, you know, your first spring here. Just uh, what's it been like, kind of learning the ropes and everything? Um, it been first of all, it's been a blessing to be able to play football to get my love, and now I'm just looking up to the big guys like Riley, Elijah, Cam. He's teaching me everything, me soaking it up, and trying to use it to help me get better every day. Elijah, I watched you when you were in high school too, and um, you know you're not the biggest guy in the field, you're not the fastest guy in the field, but you're no matter when you're out there, you're just balling. Uh, talk a little bit about like where that mindset comes from, and you know what's in your head through all this. What's in my head is just just play fast, play physical, like just ball. There's like height, speed don't mean nothing. It just means like the person in your heart and how what you do as a person. Like if you wanna, do, you can do anything you wanna do in life. I feel like so. Me, I just go out there, have fun, just do what I can, make plays, and. What do you think? Or sorry, what do you uh, think you've learned so far from the older guys like Cam and um, Elijah Arroyo, and even guys like Riley? I learned a lot, like route running, blocking, technique, hands placement, blocking, mostly just blocking routes, being more physical, learning their playbook and stuff like schemes, defense. There's a lot of things. Elijah Arroyo uh, described you as a little Debo Samuel. Is there anyone that you kind of model your game after, pick up pieces from? Uh, I do look up to, I do pick some games up for Devo, but another guy I look up to is Brevin Jordan. He's um, like a big brother to me, so I do some of his game and, and apply it to mine. How often did you talk to him? Brevin? Yeah. Since I was in high school. He always comes back and talk to us, always testing him, getting advice and stuff. What's he told you before this spring? You know, what's some of the stuff he's told you? Told me to go be great. Told me to stay disciplined, stay locked in, be humble and just go make plays and ball out. He's probably glad you picked UM, right? What did <laughs> yeah. he say about UM? He was just happy. He was like, he told me to make the best decisions for me as a kid, as a person. So he, it doesn't matter. He didn't tell me to come here. He just said to make the best decision. And I feel like this decision was best for me. And also Cam, uh, the, uh, Cam McCormick specifically, I mean, a guy who's in his ninth year of college football, what have you learned from him specifically? How can he help you? He's, he's really smart with the game. He learns. We know a lot about defense, blocking, routes, basically a lot of like reading defense, blocking schemes, where the defense is, how the alignments slant, just stuff like that. You talked about your mindset. So where did that come from? Was it your parents? Uh, my mom. Your, yeah. My mom, she always pushed me every day to be, to be the best man I can be on and off the field. So my mindset really comes from her because she's a hard working young lady. What does she do? What, oh. What's her, for work, I mean? For work, she does a lot of things. She's always with church. She worked with the school district, so she's just busy working hard, so I get everything from her. Is she a teacher or? No. 
So you do like the financial stuff behind? The F financial stuff, like. Okay. Yeah, we see you're, you're listed at tight end, but we see you get work in multiple different spots, including running back. Uh, is that always something kind of understood you would do, or whose idea was it to work you out at multiple spots? Well, I just came here to play ball and get on the field. So anything coach, crystal ball, coach Woodle, any coach need me to do something, I'm just going to do it, try it, go hunting full speed, and then just do it. The best I can. How comfortable do you feel in the backfield? Comfortable. It's, it's, it's football. You got to be comfortable. I feel like you got to be comfortable anywhere. You just got to line up and just go and play ball. What do you like about running back, just that, playing that position? Uh, just helping the team. I, I do whatever I do to help the team be be elite, be great. What is your height weight right now? 6'2", 235, 40. And how are you doing with the playbook? You know, you know, playing different roles comes with a lot of responsibility to, to know them. Uh, how, how's that coming along? It was hard at first, but I'm, every day I'm getting better and learning from the older people, learning from coaches, so I'm learning. I'm still getting in there. So what's it like working? You come in, you get to work with uh, you know, a quarterback like Cam Ward. It's, it's a blessing to have a good quarterback, and it's like he's really smart with the game. He's a good quarterback. He knows his game. He knows what to do. He knows what to check and call, so it's like basically it's, just, it's a blessing to be able to have a quarterback like that. What, what was, I guess, the biggest adjustment for you, just even on the field, off the field, just being in college, you know, long way from home and everything? Just being away from my family. That's really what it is, but I'm adjusted to it. I'm happy to be here, and I'm just working. Did you grow up in Las Vegas? Yes, I did. You did, so you've lived there your whole life? Yes, yes ma'am. A lot different from South Florida? What do A you lot think different. Of, yeah, t talk to us about that. I mean, it's, it's, it's really it's different. The weather's different. The like city's different. It's more crazy out here. But do you like it here? Yeah, I like it here. What kind of stuff do you do just for fun? For fun, I be hanging out with the older guys. So like they take me to like the mall and stuff, just chilling. Like we don't really be doing stuff. We just be chilling. So as you played against you know some of your teammates now in high school against Shawn Ryan Miami Central, have you talked to you know guys like Zay Quan or Amado yeah. about those games? They they still they still kind of mad about it, but <laughs> we we teammates now, so we just working, just getting better every day.